This video is sponsored by Professional Photographers of America. Join a community of over 30,000 photographers that includes equipment insurance, education, and business tools made specifically for small business owners like you. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to an YouTube video. Today we're gonna to be diving into some of my photography favorites for the month of December. And what I really mean by this is honestly just some things I've been enjoying using, whether that be, you know, photography equipment or things that I use to find inspiration, including photo books, um, different film stocks, and so on and so forth. I haven't made one of these in almost a year now, so I figured this would be the perfect time to kind of dive into this, especially with the holiday season looming in the next couple of weeks. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. I'm gonna explain to you guys some of my photography favorites for the month of December. All right, so first and foremost, we are gonna be talking about my favorite film stock that I've been using as of late, and this is Kodak Tri-X 400. Now this is a black and white film stock, and I've really only been shooting it on medium format, so the 120 format. Uh, I've been using it mainly for portrait photography, actually, and I really, really love how the scans are coming out using this film. This is actually my first time using this. This is the first box of Tri-X that I've actually picked up, and I'm really, really happy with the results so far. I haven't really shot a lot of black and white, period, but especially not on medium format, so I've really been enjoying using Tri-X, and if I wanna try out some HP5 as well, but I love the portraits that I'm able to get with this and I'm excited to continue using this down the road. I think one thing that I really love about Tri-X is the contrast. I love a really contrasty black and white image and this film pretty much consistently provides that for me. So I'm really happy with how the images look and again, I'm gonna continue shooting this, see what I can get down the road. All right, so next year I have my favorite photo book that I've picked up probably almost ever, I would say. This is an incredible photo book by a photographer named Christopher Anderson. If you guys have ever heard of him, he is by far and large one of the more prominent photographers, I would say, in today's society. He is so talented and I really love following along his work. I've, you know, followed him on Instagram for many, many years and I wasn't able to pick up one of his photo books because they sell out so fast. <laughs> um, but this time around I picked up his book called Pia. And essentially what this book is, is it's a book documenting his relationship with his daughter. And I think what I love about this book the most is he has such an incredible eye for composition and color. And I just love how all these images really kind of flow together. It feels very natural. Um, there's just some incredible uh, images in this book and I honestly am so inspired by it. I love how he captures this, you know, seemingly normal relationship with his daughter. And I find that the images are just really impactful and interesting and a great, you know, resemblance of probably what life looks like for him uh, at home. So I'm really, really impressed with this book. Uh, I remember when I got it in the mail, I wasn't expecting it to be honestly as good as it was, uh, but I am honestly just so impressed with the layout of this book and each individual image really tells a great story. And again, I am just, a really big fan of his compositions. I think the compositions are just really interesting. This photo in particular, it looks like his daughter and a few other kids just playing outside, potentially maybe jumping into the ocean. I love the composition in this. The color is amazing. His use of light is just stellar in every single one of these photos. And it makes me want to pick up more of his books, to be honest. Uh, I found a few on eBay and kind of waiting to see how expensive those ones get. But if you guys have the chance to not only look at Christopher's work, but also own one of his photo books, I would highly recommend that you guys go check him out and check his work out, show him some support because he's definitely one of my favorite photographers as of right now. And I'm really blown away by all of the images in this book. It's hands down my favorite photo book that I've probably bought to date. So definitely go check it out, link down below. So an often overlooked part of photography is photography insurance. Now I've been using the same photography insurance provider for many, many years. I think almost four years now to be exact, and that is Professional Photographers of America. So PPA, otherwise known as Professional Photographers of America, is a photography community, and I've been using their equipment insurance for three, almost four years now, and I can't highly recommend them enough. You guys have probably seen that they've sponsored another video on this channel before, and again, this is just such an easy recommendation for me because I use them personally. So when they reached out to sponsor another video on this channel, of course, I said yes. So with a PPA membership, you get quite a few benefits. First and foremost is equipment insurance. You get up to $15,000 in coverage right off the bat with a PPA membership. If you need more, you can also get that as well. They have custom plans really tailored to whatever kind of equipment you have and what you really need to get insured. They really make this a nice and easy streamlined process where you enter in all of your serial numbers and get everything nice and organized. That gives you peace of mind as you know the photographer or as the filmmaker, knowing that you can use your gear to its full potential without having to worry about simple things like dropping your gear or 
getting it stolen or water getting into the camera's system stuff like that really you know is a pain in the ass typically to deal with and having a membership to ppa really has given me a lot of peace of mind when it comes to this you also get access to ppa's educational courses online where they have over 900 educational lessons that you guys can check out as well as tons of different resources online including contracts and the ability to communicate with other photographers who are a member as well if you guys want to check out ppa for yourself there'll be a link down in the description if you guys click that you can receive a discount on your first ppa membership as i've said before i've been using ppa for three almost four years now and i can't recommend them enough okay so now on to lighting so i recently picked up the Profoto b1x which is a strobe light that i've been wanting for many years again i've really kind of held back because of the cost but actually a friend of mine was selling it for really cheap and i kind of hopped on it and i can't say enough great things about this i have really only tested it a few times so far um, i've had a few friends in the studio and taken a few portraits of them but i can't wait to really mess around with this and see what i can do i love the overall design and how light it is and the battery life is pretty incredible i assume i'll probably need to probably get two of these batteries in the future but overall i mean these things are chunky like they're gonna last <laughs> last quite a long time and the recycle time on these is, is pretty incredible i've used strobes in the past especially older strobes and they would take anywhere from like three to five seconds to recycle it's not a massive deal but the fact that this thing recycles in you know less than a second is pretty incredible and i love pairing it with my canon eos r5 that i've been shooting a lot with over the last couple weeks and it just works really naturally i have the ttl flash mount for my eos r5 and that paired with the pro photo and i also have some really interesting lighting attachments which i honestly want to make a video on in the future just you know walking you guys through how i take portraits here in the studio but i think overall I'm really just excited to start really diving into studio photography and shooting portraits. And I figured, obviously I'm going to need a strobe to do that. And I figured Profoto is definitely a great investment. Obviously their stuff is extremely expensive. Um, I've used B1Xs in the past, but only just to rent. So I'm really excited to be owning one of these guys finally. And I'm excited to just mess around and, and see what I can get. Get creative here in the studio and be able to shoot some portraits of, uh, of people here in my office. So really excited about that. So moving on now to film lab. So if you guys shoot film or if you have shot film in the past, either you develop it at home and scan it yourself or you probably send it out to a film photography lab to get all that done for you. Now, I usually do the latter just because I don't really have the time and I'm honestly not very well versed in developing and scanning my own stuff. I would like to at some point, but I think for now, I don't really mind sending it out because they do such a better job than I could do myself. And I can't highly recommend enough State Film Lab. Now, State is a lab over in Louisville, Kentucky. I've been using them for about a year now and I can't say enough great things about how incredible just the overall process is of working with them. I shoot probably anywhere from 20 to 30 rolls a month and I send them in to State always uh, to get developed and scanned. They mail the negatives back and they also send me a Dropbox link with each individual roll categorized. And honestly, the biggest reason why I continue to use them is the colors of the scans. I haven't seen any other lab come close to just the natural color and tonality of the scans that State is able to provide. And again, their color palette in each of the scans that I get back, but I don't really mind sending it to Kentucky because I love the actual final result that they're able to achieve. You know, I live in Los Angeles where there are tons of different film labs and I've tried a lot of them. Honestly, I just can't find any that come close in terms of color and quality to State's film scans. So I'm really happy with them. If you guys wanna check them out, I'll leave a link down in the description. Definitely let them know that I sent you guys over. And if you have, you know, a few rolls of film laying around or you're looking for a new lab to send film out to you to get developed and scanned, I would highly recommend State Film Lab. But with all that being said, thank you so much as always guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you guys want links to any of the products or books that I mentioned, I will link all that down below. Hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. I'm gonna be posting probably one more video before the end of the year, but other than that, I'm gonna be taking the week off and just enjoying some time with family and friends. So we'll see you guys in the new year. Take care, peace.